So we got a pinned comment uh, by somebody, I believe, believe named Orso. I'm just going to read it uh, and whoever wants to tackle it. Uh, when discussing whether women are more subject to random acts of violence, it's essential to clarify context, the context and the types of violence being, cons uh, being considered. While statistics can vary by region and type of uh, violence, there are several factors that indicate women may be more vulnerable at higher volume to certain forms of random violence. By the way, I'm a professor at a large state university in the U.S. Um, and that's yeah, by Orso360. Yeah, we're talking about domestic relationships. Yeah, and just support the Cash App, guys. You know, just to let you know, it's that lower left rung of the screen. Support the Cash App. We are bringing you live content from Brazil with Erica. She is a Brazil native. Edward Anderson, and I'm from New York. Um, we love to see you guys here, but don't forget the Cash App. Okay, go ahead. Oh, he was saying something. Oh, whoever, oh you were saying something, Matt? Yeah, so I'm, yeah, so I'm interested in kind of what, you know, because I kind of think a lot of this is pulled from, like, maybe certain experiences in Brazil. So I'm interested in what is the dynamic of what, what you deal with in Brazil. Like, what is the, the society? Is it more machismo from what I've heard or, you know? No. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. But... He's saying so basically... What is, you know, what, what is feminism in Brazil? Like, what is the dynamic between men and women in Brazil? Yeah, but the dynamic between women and men is not feminism. Like, like I was trying to explain you. Feminism is like you trying to fight for, for the right things. Like, like the safety, the right payment, and stuff like that. And it's, it's just true that it's not, like, that is not good now. And so I think that we, like, if I have, like, like I was saying, like, if I have a PhD and you have that too, and we are like in the same company uh, with the same job, I want to get paid the same way that you want. Also, I don't want to fear for my life if I'm in a relationship or if I'm in a street or if I'm whatever, because I don't want to be like, for example, if we, if I'm in a room with 10 guys, my scare is different than your scare. I just want to have sure that, I, that I'm good. Okay. So yeah. do you believe, so, so do you believe that every woman is, is the same safety level? Like 10 guys, one woman, 10 guys in India or in Brazil or in the United States, which one you think is like from one to three, which one you think is the most safe to the least safe? But it's not about the most safe and the less safe. All of them are important. The safety is important. I'm not classifying levels. I'm just saying that everyone should like fight for the right thing. So, so my thing is if a Caucasian woman or you know what, that's not, if a black woman were to come to me and say that I need to care about an Arabic woman in Saudi Arabia with 10 guys being less safe, that's just not going to register. It's just not because, because I can tell you right now, they don't care. <laughs> women, that's the, that's point. the point. But, but okay. here's the thing, women don't, women don't care. Like, here's the thing, and this is like women, like, I'm, I'm going to just tell you the truth. Like white, I'm not even. Gonna, I don't want to put this on. I want to speak to black women because I can speak white women too. But that's not fair. I'm gonna speak to black women. Black women don't care about what other women go through. If, if it inconveniences them, they don't care. It, you know, like women don't care what other women like. This idea of the sisterhood, and that's like from a global standpoint, women benefit at the expense of other women all the time. And they and now they may act like they care if it's presented to them in their face, but from a like background standpoint, they don't care. If they they don't care that like if women on the other side of the planet are suffering, they they don't care. That, that's what I'm saying. So like when they bring so if a black woman were to bring something like that up to me, I know she's not doing that because she wants me to help uh, a woman in Saudi Arabia. She's doing that because she wants me to do something for her. Even though she's not the one that's having the problem. 
Yeah, but how can you say about them? Like, like well, that is your they... thought. First of all, when you I are talk... not them. You are a guy. Like you can say, uh, and second, like you can say about you can you cannot say about how other people feel. You are you are talking about feelings, about your opinions. Like I can believe in your opinion. Like what do you ever think? But you can't say like about how all women in your culture think, or how no, all what... women in your culture feel. Mm -mm, I, I I can't yeah. understand that. But this is what they know. I'm going on what they say. They call like like they they say. This is what it's coming out. And literally, we I can show you video, and we've had con I've had conversations just like I'm having it with you. This yeah, is but a video out. is a one single person. A video is not showing me what the whole country is or what the whole community is. But nobody even like 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 I, mean, I will show you some white person supporting uh black people and all that i will say to you that all white people are nice because the one single person are supporting black people but the world but see that's not how the world even with germany all mm. the germans were nazis in nazi germany so when when i hear that what i hear is i don't like what's being said so everything can mean anything and anything can mean nothing because it's impossible for me I can all what I look at is it's impossible for me to prove definitively like what a majority of a population thinks that it's impossible for that to be proven in the context of a conversation. Um, but the thing is, even if I were to show you, you know, I could show you like, for instance, some a uh, 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 YouTube channel. Or whatever. I, it doesn't YouTube matter. channel TV. doesn't show me anything. Show me, show me research. Sh show me books. Show there's me no, there's no, like there's some, no research for that. There's like no videos. Does, for, videos doesn't feel. show anything. It's a pawn of there those is, like one there single is thing. No, there is no research for feelings. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that there's no research for that. But like, one video, me. one video on YouTube is validated. I, 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 I didn't say. I never said it was. But what mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if I had, I have over three, I have over 3,000, like, I have conversations with multiple people. Like, it, it, it's kind of like, it, 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 see, and this is, this, and see, this is where this conversation kind of goes. Because ultimately, if the goal is to get men to change their behavior, men are logical creatures. You're not, the feminism in logical the United creature. States, kinda, well, feminism, yeah, feminism in the United States is like reached the limit where a lot of men are starting to redline and the worst thing that can happen is starting to happen which is a lot of men of different groups they normally compete against each other are starting to compare notes and and really where they messed up was where they basically started putting white men in a vice grip so now white men are not on some oh well you know we're winning so regardless what the hispanics are going through or what the blacks are going through we're good now they're starting to compare notes as to what they're going through and say, hey, this has been going on for a minute. Oh, crap. Our ancestors kind of engineered a lot of this stuff. Him. And now it's coming back to bias. And now what's starting to happen is dudes are starting to red line. And women are starting to run into walls on certain stuff. Because now dudes are starting to reestablish standards. Well, by for the most part, women have kind of been allowed to do what they want to do. This is why abortion was a federal law, got removed, and it went back to the states. That wasn't by accident. That was done because men made that happen. Even with the women crying and screaming about it, Donald Trump is a perfect example of him being elected. By the way, Don, white women helped elect Donald Trump too, which is something that doesn't often get talked about. They voted for him in a lot of ways over Hillary. So the thing is, ultimately, when it comes to explaining stuff, if we believe that we're putting the logic there and we're saying what it is and then we get dismissed ultimately it kind of comes down to we're the ones that's got to do it anyway so we don't really need permission if that's the difference between kind of men and women feminism needs men's permission for it to exist and, and it depends on our compassion for it to exist if we believe at a certain critical mass that what's happening is not fair we can if we actually work together and it doesn't take a lot we can rip that away and they're not going to rip all of feminism away what they're going to start doing is they're going to start dialing certain things back 
And that's what's happening in the United States. It's being balanced out. And women will complain. Women will say what they'll say uh, because that's what they do. But ultimately, the society cannot work if men don't invest in it. And so even a lot of women are starting to understand that it's better. It's never going to go back to some patriarchy. That's that's gone. <laughs> it's not. Women are never going back in the home. There's certain things that it's just never going back to. It's just not. Women are always going to be able to vote. Women are all, they're probably not going to get drafted. They're always going to have access to the employment. But there's certain things that women are going to have to compromise on. And quite frankly, if they don't compromise, they just won't get big. And, and they'll be left the way they are. And that's where the, you know, dudes traveling comes into play. A lot of white men and other groups are now looking for, you know, women that they can deal with. So when people talk about, I want to be treated right, I want to be treated safe here's the thing and i'm gonna be done after this men have to do can can american men do better than the men i'm not i get the money thing we're not even talking about the money we're just talking about self-respect not money because that's not fair we're just talking about self-respect and how you treat a person men in the united states are socialized to treat women in such a way because of like feminism existed in a way that a lot of men don't treat their women like with men hitting a woman, you might as well be an R word. If if you put your if you put your hands on a woman one time for any reason, you might as well be an R word in the United States. And you, would you, you might, put your hand on on a woman? Like I, you think that's I, right? I, I, I've I've had when I have had women get me really hemmed up. I'm proud to say I've never put my hands on a woman. But I can tell you, there's been situations where a woman has almost gotten killed more than a, a, a like once or twice. Okay, and, but your experience is too and, doesn't and, show and, me and, facts because you know and, the percent of women getting hit about men's are much so, bigger. So, so my question is: so you're saying, are you telling me that there is never a scenario ever? So if so, if you have a daughter. I don't have a daughter, but let's say, let's say you have, you have a daughter and your daughter is being jumped by multiple women. So he should just not hit, hit he should not do what he needs to do to protect his daughter. What? I'm asking you, because men, this is a situation that happens. If a man has a daughter and women are beating the dog snot out of his daughter, what should he do? Is this still a completely another scenario than we was talking about? I'm talking about the person. I'm, I'm just establishing, all I'm establishing is so you said that there is never a scenario ever. I didn't even say a man should necessarily hit her. I'm just saying there's never a scenario ever that a, one, a man should put his hands on a woman. That's what you said. I'm just establishing. No, first of all, I never used the words never ever, it's just to beginning. And second, I was talking about the percent percentage of women that are getting hit or killed for men in, and in the whole world. I'm not just talking about here. That is just true, it's, it's a fact. But but feminism, feminism is not global like that. So when women talk about feminism, like I'm telling you, American women are not talking about global feminism. Okay, that but not that's not the point. I still talking about violence. You are going for another way. But, but we're having a different we're having a different conversation. Like like it's cause now I have to account for like the Middle East. Like I have to account for like humans don't we don't all live the same. Like I have to account for stuff that like that can't be accounted for because we're nation every states. time every time i talk to you about the percent of violence that women are killed or hit about men like from a man you change the topic you go for an no, individual no, no. I, vision I, 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 would, i would address the topic so i answer directly you will never live in a world where violence is zero that will never happen that, that will never happen you will never live in a world where violence is 100% zero. But that I'm not talking happen. about violence. I'm not talking about global normal violence. I'm talking about no. woman violence. It's different. I'm talking about the percent of women that are killed or hurt from a man, like even in a domestic situation so or a random never... situation. It's a fact. 
But we are just live. trying to put that low. But you'll never live. You'll never live in a world where where that's zero. You're changing Global. the topic again. No, I'm wait. not. I'm asking, like, you're keep saying you want violence to be low. Humans are. That is a humans. That is a part of our condition. This idea, like women. I'll, let me ask you this. Do you oh, think it's part of your condition, like killed and hurt women? So, so you, uh, so it sounds like you, you're okay with violence. You just don't want women to ever be touched. No, I reason. never said that. You are manipulating my words. That moment we are talking about feminism. So I'm inside this topic. But I can, like, we can talk about violence with black people, for example. I, I, we I have people no, we, fighting for that too. We can talk about whatever. I'm, I'm kind of following what you're saying. What, what you're saying. That's why I keep changing my response because we're talking about violence globally then we're talking about violence in domestic relationships we're kind of jumping back and forth yeah are we are we talking about I'm violence mean. in brazil i'm oh, talking violence. that woman oh, 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 wait, one second. i just want for the viewers are we talking about violence in brazil are we talking about violence in america are we talking about the global i'm not talking about violence and you know that you understand no, my I'm, point I'm no I'm, i didn't finish well hold, we on, are hold on hold on i'm asking wait. the question you have viewers Everybody needs to know what's talking about right now. So the question is this, the conversation you're having, are you talking about global violence against women? Are you talking about violence in America, violence in Brazil? What exactly violence against women are we talking about? Because everybody needs to know. I think they know. We are talking about what? violence so tell against women. It's exactly what we are talking about. You are ch whatever. For the whole world? That's not the point. No, I ha what we are talking we have about. To make, we have to make a subject what we're talking about. I'm just asking you, are we talking about violence against women the whole world? Because that's a lot to deal with. Are we making a little bit more focused violence in Brazil? Because we don't live in the Middle East. I can't tell you about the violence in the Middle East. Well, I understand that. I, I don't even add anything to it. So I'm, I'm just curious. So what is it that, so we can kind of reorient the conversation what right, is that's it what I'm trying to do? About? No, don't even add the world global. Let's assume we don't, we were just we don't know what we're talking about there. What is it that you want to talk about? What what's our topic? We were talking about what? We were I mean, talking about I mean, your perspective and my perspective. You are from US, I'm from Brazil. So we are talking ab about feminism in Brazil and US. So we so start to talk about uh, wait so we start to talk mm -hmm. about violence. So I'm talking about how women feel about our safety. And that is one of the topics of feminism is like fight for more safety. Women are more safe. The only places that women in America are, le are less safe than is in certain countries in Europe, I would say Canada, certain countries in west uh maybe like a handful of countries in western europe other than that women in america because i'm most of the stuff i'm saying is america and then i'm kind of broadening out from there women are more safe than anywhere else on the planet this is why they tend to get in trouble when they go other places on the planet because they assume they're that safe when they're not so i'm not speaking of what you deal with in brazil i'm speaking on what happens in the united states so then this is where we kind of go into this. Well, it's about violence everywhere. And that's where I kind of got confused. Women in the United States, they are not dealing. Um, they are not dealing with a safety issue in the same way as women in the other planet, um, the other places of the planet are. So when they say they don't feel safe, because key word, that key word is feel meaning they cannot feel safe and you can put them in the safest situation in the world. And because they don't feel that way, where men don't care about the feelings if, if you, men look at are you actually safe and it, oh well, i feel scared okay you're gonna have to figure that out if you feel that way unless there's an actual real threat and so that's kind of and that is representative of kind of what we have to deal with because it becomes this never-ending thing that no matter what we give it's always a problem because it just is and that's kind of like what i was talking about before where it's not really about these tangible things it's really just things that feelings that then get applied to certain things that's why i said that white women are the safest 
in the um in the um in the world and they'll sit there and act like they're talking like some middle eastern chick that are literally locked down and they will actually make a, a better case than that middle eastern chick because of how they feel but that's from the united states perspective i i, I definitely believe violence with women happens in other places of the world absolutely so I'm not I'm not saying globally violence doesn't happen. I'm just saying the idea and yeah, you can improve it, but then it's improve it to what? Absolute zero? That won't happen. Not saying you shouldn't try to improve it, but it's different situations in in the world. And as far as I'm concerned with the United States, yeah, we're with women, we're in acceptable levels in the United States. Women, I can honestly say, are acceptably safe compared to other places in the world. Right. Okay, we going to <laughs> we going to the next subject, or y'all want to still talk on this one? I don't know. You have any question? I don't have anything to say. Okay, you know, I'll just you know throw in my two cents. Um, Brazil is different. Obviously, they have uh, the infrastructure is way different. I'm I'm sure you're able to get away with. It. Matter of fact, one of the big things that I see over here. Abortion is illegal, right? Yes. Yeah, that that's a big factor, which uh, which would also kind of explain uh, there's a lot of single mothers, uh, more so in the black community out here. Um, but that's funny because abortion is legal in the states, and you ha we also have a high number of single mothers in the states. So there's like similarities there, but uh, even though things are different, as far as violence of I haven't seen any, but you know, I'm the where I'm at is uh No Martin, you, know. you talked about somebody tried to take your your stuff one time. Oh no, I, yeah, point. with me, yeah. But, but women to women I mean. I haven't seen any uh you know, I told you about that. A guy tried to rob me on the beach when I first got here. Mm -hmm. I told you that. Yeah, so you know, the violence will happen to a guy because it's like, you know, uh like if you rob a guy in public less will happen as if to a guy robs a woman in public i could see people trying to jump in just like they probably would jump in in the states you know with men it's more acceptable like okay that's a fight but i'm I not mean, jumping if, in. You, if you get loud if you look if you get loud with women in a group in a in a setting like you'll have random dudes like walking up to you talking about what's the problem like like literally about to put their hands on you even if you get loud like you know i mean and, and i'm not even talking about you just yelling at a woman even if you raise your voice so we're not even talking about like police officers i mean we got plenty of men i mean the funny thing is in the black community a lot of violence that happens quiet it's kept is violence that men are doing on behalf of women not that the woman necessarily told them to do it but the woman will give them a story that something happened not saying nothing happened but it won't be what she said exactly how it happened, you know, and then a dude and especially if it's somebody in their family, dudes will crash out. That's there's a lot of black on black crime that happens that way. Uh, dudes will crash out and they'll just go handle it. And and I'm not and depending on what the situation is, it's going to be varying to if I agree with that or not. But at the end of the day, you know, so it's it's a lot of stuff that doesn't get said. And what happens is, you know, women, men are not incentivized to kind of have these opinions openly because, you know, women will get upset and men can't get what they need to get out of them. So what men do is they bury this stuff deep. And then a lot of these things, unfortunately, don't get addressed. They don't get addressed the way they need to. They don't get improved the way they can because of the way American society is wound up. So a lot of problems that can be solved don't. And kind of all the laws that can be passed have been passed. As far as behavior, the thing is, there's bad men, bad men exist. And the reality is, what most men will say is, if you stay away from bad men, you won't deal with these issues. The, if men do bad things, they will be dealt with. And the law, that is reflective in the laws. You okay. know, they will be dealt with. Yeah. You know, you got Little Waves fans ask Erica... I just pinned it. He says, Erica, you want stronger penalties for violence against women? Question mark. Does Brazil 
uh, it looks like he says allow. Does Brazil allow you to carry mace or pepper spray? What is mace? Pepper, yes. It's like a spray. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so yeah. they are allowed, but you're not allowed to carry guns, right? No, no, no guns. guns. Is anybody allowed to carry guns besides police? No. So guns are illegal no matter what? Yes. So there's no permits, nothing like that? No. Okay. Yeah, so they're <laughs> regular citizens are not allowed to carry guns under any circumstances, only police and obviously criminals. But it's not legal, obviously, for criminals. You know, I'm looking through the chat. You guys got any questions uh, for Ed or Erica, you know, to the topic or off the topic, because we're we're talking about a range of things. Uh, Zay Laville ask Erica, do you consider yourself a feminist? I answered yes, but I want to make sure I'm answering correctly. Yes. Why not? OK. Why wouldn't I doesn't want like the right payment or more safety or like more rights mm -hmm. for the wrong things the same way i think that i'm anti-racist i'm anti-homophobic the same way like why wouldn't don't be something that is fighting for good rights okay so you're obviously a feminist you're you said anti-homophobic is that a, like a label out here because in america they have like uh what do they call it Ed? like when you they just call you homophobic yeah, you no, know, I mean, if, uh, if you okay, support no, no, them. No, 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 they'll, they, they'll say you're an ally. That's that's what they do here. Yeah, so she's an ally. Okay. And let me see. Okay. Um, and you do support black causes out here. Yes. Yeah, just, you know, all things being fair. Um, she is definitely in interested in the black culture. Yeah, yeah. and also it's, it's important to know, like the same way, like I think we talk a little bit about that. Um, it's like we know how stuff are different for different groups. Like we have, uh, for example, the feminist is not the same thing for white women and black women. It's different. The same way that uh, things like is different in the white community and black community. So it's, it's important to make sure about it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's white woman feminism in the United States is white white women basically it's their power struggle with white men because they're at the top. Them, uh, which you know, like I said, white women outlive white men, so they usually inherit the money. So there is some things to be equalized with that that they got to account for. And then with black women in America is their pursuit of white womanhood. That's really what their feminism is. And they call it intersectionality, which is I'm penalized because I'm a woman and because I'm black, which allows them to go into a special group, you know, but it's really, they want the same rights as a white woman, which I'm not saying that in a way is bad. I'm just saying that's not something black men can give them. That's, that's between them and white people. And oftentimes black men get blamed because we didn't build Wakanda for black women. And they never want to really challenge, you know, and you know, on this violence piece, here's a, here's a good case study. There was a situation where a, one, a black woman was savagely beaten by a white man. He was the NFL football player. His name was Chad Wheeler. He was convicted. He was convicted. You know, he was given a pretty... He was given a. It wasn't harsh. I'm not even gonna say it was harsh because what he did, he should have been given life. Um, should have been given worse. But what was interesting about what happened was how the response to what happened and how a lot of black women didn't go out of their way to kind of really be like, "How could this happen? This needs to be dealt with." They didn't really put the NFL through the paces that you know they should have. You know, for even allowing a guy like this to even be in the league. Um, it, it wasn't even covered in the news like that. It really wasn't. It was one of those things that, like, you had to kind of pay attention to the story. And this was horrific. This is exactly what you're talking about as far as why you're a feminist. And the thing about it is the women didn't really speak up on this because you have these dynamics of, well, I don't want to go at white men too hard because in your mind that's gonna make it so white men don't want to deal with you and that it's it's crazy some of those dynamics when people pick 
which of these cases do they want to blow up and which ones they won't. It's going around in clockwork. And when you say but, when, you, um, when you say deal with you just for you know the terms of slang she might not know that means romantically yeah and and by the way that is an example by the way of what you said about a man being a good man and then just out of nowhere just you know just going haywire and yet this woman i wouldn't say reasonably could have said this was a quote-unquote bad man because let's be clear he's an nfl player so if he's in the nfl player he has to have discipline there's certain clauses with the NFL of conduct and how you have to behave. So, yeah, that's an example of what you were talking about as far as, um, you know, so there are examples. I'm not saying there's not examples where, you know, in every woman he gets hit by a dude. Oh, they could have they, they just had to have known. I'm not saying that. But there are examples of that. And there are a lot so more. You say, women are you say that it was a most killed for a woman before because they was violent to feel so. You, you say that you was not smart enough to understand that she was not a good woman for you? No, what I'm saying, no, uh, that no. situation, I take personal accountability for that. Absolutely. But and, and, and but understand, I didn't I didn't deal with her in the way that I should have dealt with that situation. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I've had women in my own family pull stuff like that. So mm -hmm. which, yeah, reasonably their family. Remember, I said I haven't hit a woman. So it's not like I'm, I'm on some, oh, victim me, I'm going to get you back. But what I'm saying is it's like this idea that women don't do bad things. And if you want to know, like, I'm not saying horrific. that women are, doesn't do like we have jail for women's though. Like if, if they don't, well, we don't have this. But I'm saying about the statistics, like men, women, kill, <laughs> men are more violent, men killed more people, men hit more people. That's that's the fact. It's true. It's a fact here and in U.S. Women are not. So here's the thing. Women are not charged in the same way that men are. And even our Supreme, our women, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who, who she passed away. She is a liberal Supreme Court justice. A she is a 2.0 feminist to the core. Even she said the laws are not designed to control women because women are not really a threat like that. Women can't overturn society. The laws are designed to control men and generally social norms control women, things like shaming and stuff like that control. I'm talking about as a group. So women, women are very violent. You know, this, this idea that like men are just like overwhelmingly more violent than women. It's not an idea, it's it, a fact. It, 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 Wom it's men are more violent than women. I'm not saying women are not violent, but statistic talking men are more violent than women and, that's proof and the, law, and the laws definitely that. reflect that but the reality is if a woman harms another woman the that that is going to be if a woman shoot let's not even take physical violence if a woman were to shoot another woman that woman may get like four or five years like if that it's going to be much more than if a man does it to another man like the laws are not and women are not in jail because the country's not comfortable. Honestly, America and I don't know about other countries, America, but this is true in the world in general. America's not comfortable putting women in jail. A woman has to do a lot more to be even if you take it off physical violence, any law, anything, women have to do a lot more and a lot more consistently in order to be put in jail for anything compared to a man. Uh, the, it, it's just not built that way whether they have kids or not because it's not okay they have kids you want to take the mother for your children it's the same thing with kids because truthfully you want to know a staff for you women are more violent with children than men so when women have a physical strength um compared to kids and this is true for boys and girls it's not even close women are more violent towards children and we're not talking about abortion that's statistically proven too and yet the women are given absolute control of the kids men men want equal rights to the kids because we got to pay regardless um and so you know you know so i get what you're saying but it's not at least in the united states it's not it's not is is what it is it's not and that's why a lot of society is starting to shift because the society is starting not to run because a lot of dudes are starting to check out and Hey, that it just is what it is. <laughs> so.
And keep in mind, Marty will tell you, I'm I'm one of the more mild ones. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the reasonable one. There's a lot of there's a lot of guys, uh, white or black. They're a lot more hardcore about this. They're a lot re less reasonable um, about this. Um, they they are they're on some straight dial it back, dial it back, dial it back, dial it back, all the way back. Mm. I'm not I'm not that. I'm like we're all we're both adults. We're all grown. I believe in um you know mutual mutual benefit but we both got to get some out of the relationship and i'm not even talking about the sense of romantically and no i don't believe a man like like when it comes to hitting when it comes to like hitting i hitting women like unless violence is being put on you and i'm not even saying that a man if a woman's hitting him that he should necessarily hit her back uh, but what I'm saying is, unless a woman is putting violence on your daughter, and even then, that's not necessarily hitting. That's more get him off of her. So it takes an overwhelming like reason for violence, you know, in a situation like that. However, women, you know, you got women that slit, they use razors to cut the face of other women in the United States. That's a thing amongst black women with light skin versus dark skin, and they don't get checked like that, not like they should. So violence. But that's up to women, you know. Women, women are clearly more comfortable with female violence than they are with anything else. So um, that's up to them to deal with. But anyway, yeah, appreciate yeah. appreciate the Cash App line. I see you in there. Um, definitely appreciate the guys that have been uh, NG. I don't want to say the full name. Appreciate the Cash App on that. Um, yeah, these these are definitely good uh, situations to talk about. Because now it's like, you know, because Erica has her own view. Um, I mean, even on the next one, if anybody wants to bring in like a, um, a research, a, a study, because I know that was mentioned a few times just to solidify whatever is being said, that could be easily done, I'm sure, on both sides. You know, that way it could be more codified if you wanted to have it like that. Um, let me see. What is uh, a man... Lion says a man and a woman can do the same exact crime and a woman gets a lesser sentence. That's not equality. You know, he's definitely speaking on the experience of uh, the U.S. That, probably not Brazil. How does that work in Brazil? Like if, uh, if a man does a crime, let's just say a man shoots another man and a woman shoots a woman. Do they both get the same sentences out here? No one, like, they need to go to judge to know, like, it's different. Like, all the crimes are relative because everything needs to be studied. I can't say, like, if someone murders someone, mm -hmm. they always will get, like, 10 years in jail. It's not that. Well, I'm just saying... It's like, for example, take... okay, we have a good case, actually. Mm -hmm. We just have Daniel, Al Daniel Alves, the soccer player, and also Robinho. They, both of them raped a girl. And they they get like um, Daniel always get like nine years in jail, but he paid like something and he can be free because he paid that. So now like you can rob to go if you are rich enough to pay and be free. No, I mean like a a, a relative crime, like because a woman's not gonna do that to a man. But let's just take like um. Oh yeah, actually yeah, men's are not worried about being ripped. No, the, what I'm trying to say is like for instance, if a guy is drunk he and he uh kills two people walking in the street and a woman who's drunk kills two people in the street do you see that the the time is equal or is it different anything any crime is is equal with uh, anyone need to be go to court and see how everything no happens. but it, i'm saying if you go if i you can't go to, answer that nope, this is, but don't have a right answer for that listen to the box i'm trying to put it in well box i'm trying to put it in is you went to court and both cases are pretty much similar. It, we don't have to make it complicated. 12 o'clock, guy was drunk, ran over one person, dead. 12 o'clock, woman was drunk, ran over a person, dead. What I'm saying is, is the years that he would get would be the same as, in general, it doesn't have to be, I'm just a general I'm question. I'm saying, I'm saying what I'm saying. Don't have an answer. Okay, Ed, in America. It depends on, um, well, you know, it depends on the judge. It depends on a lot of different stuff. And they, they do that on purpose so they can 
do make whatever decision they the ju- it empowers the judges to make whatever decision they want to make and and that's even when you have laws that and i'm gonna go back to the other thing with the soccer player because i want to address that that deserves to be addressed but even when there's like strict laws like for example like when they had crack laws and they'd be like you are caught with crack you know they, they have little games to gain people out of certain stuff when they want to you know they could they could because you know how you can you know these da's have the power to make charges lesser they can make something from let's say it was if you you're convicted of second degree murder it's automatic 15 years well they can call it manslaughter which is not murder because murder you know what i'm saying manslaughter is accidental so there's different things that you know people can do so that that's a hard question to answer to her credit it is a hard question to answer but it's designed that way and it's not just gender it's class and this goes back to what she was talking about with the um and that's universal globally as well and this goes back to what she was just mentioning because that does deserve to be addressed like with with um with what happened to that woman that soccer player i can tell you so let me say this i you know if i say that just never happens in the united states um that wouldn't be true post the united states post me too that's a lot more harder to to, to run that play pre me too and this is something the me too is a third wave feminism thing by the way so this is not to say that like third wave just hasn't done nothing contributing to anything um it, me too was a third wave and me too was talking about assault it wasn't assault it was more it was harassment in the workplace and a lot of people got liquidated a lot of men got liquidated just off the accusation some people did to a lot of people some people did some a lot of people did some stuff some people kind of fell through the cracks they didn't do nothing but it just was what it was that the eggs getting cracked but as far as the um the assault thing if like we i can give you two examples after me too, you have a, a football a football player, very quarterback, which is you know soccer's big globally. So football, is, this is kind of equivalent. This dude because he's a big football player, max contract football player, quarterback. He got accused of you know harassment when he was getting massages. Now these massages were legal massages, and then the women you know came up. And to be fair, it was multiple women that came up and said stuff. And then he got punished. He had to go through the legal system. It was pretty much determined that he didn't do anything, but he still got punished by the um, NFL. But I'm not going to say nothing happened because, you know, it's just legally he got to do anything. You can't, they don't uh, usually allow you to buy your way out of that. You got to be a billionaire to even potentially have the ability to do that in the United States. And even then, you see what happened with Jeffrey Epstein where he got caught up and he ended up offing himself or that's what they say he did. Um, but before me too, you had people like, you know, you had football quarterbacks like Roethlisberger, who was known to did some stuff and and somehow they were able to get away from that. So a lot of that race can play. 